So in Nordic Combine, the result of the ski jumping round defines the starting order for the cross country race. Today we have our race director Lars Ottesen here with us to help us explain a little bit how this uh, whole system of conversion from ski jumping to cross country works. The leader from the jumping event starts as number one and then everyone else starts after him uh, based on this calculation uh, system which uh, we use by 15 points per minute. That means also that one point in the jumping hill is four seconds. So um, we have this big, big table with all the, all the numbers that we need. It's basically then setting up the starting list for the cross country race. The most exciting uh, Nordic uh, competitions, uh, of course, in terms of uh, the Gunderson method means that the first athlete crossing the finish line wins. That's also why Nordic Combine is, let's say, so interesting, because uh, you will always have changes in the race. You have a tight uh, starting field after the jumping event. The ultimate athletes, as we like to call them, doing both sides. For the start of our cross-country race, the athletes are sorted into lanes according to their start order. So we can see our leader after the jumping event starting at 0-0. And then second place guy, Eric Frenzel in this case, he will follow at uh, 1 minute and 6 seconds as we can see or have, we have seen in the list. Works all the way down till we have um, the last guys going out at a time of 4.20. Going to the cross country, it's uh, definitely a mix of strategy. Uh, if you're jumping to the front, then obviously you're going to be playing the games and um, conserving energy for the final sprint. You don't have to chase the field, so uh, it's a different race. And if you're in the back, it's an all-out effort to reach the front at all costs. So you're pushing the pace the entire race and uh, seeing how hard you can push yourself in in uh, in the course. But uh, you know, all in all, the, the best strategy is to uh, conserve your energy as much as possible because always the last two laps are going to be the hardest. 